Now, today is a very difficult day here at The Voice of America. Our beloved friend and colleague, Leo Sarkeesian, has died. Leo had a long and storied career as the original VOA music man. He's the father of Music Time in Africa, founding VOA's hugely successful and longest-running English-language radio music show in 1965. Well known across the continent, Leo traveled to every African country recording music. Leo passed away on Friday. He was 97 years old. Two years ago, Leo celebrated his 95th birthday with an exhibition of his other passion, drawing. Here's Zoe Ludaki. For nearly 50 years, Leo traveled all over Africa to discover music and musicians. Now, Leo and Mary Sarkeesian live in a one-bedroom apartment in a small town close to Boston that is packed with precious mementos of a life of adventure and art. On the walls hang Mary's paintings of Africa and a portrait of an African woman by Leo. The elder care facility that is now their home hosted an exhibition of Leo's artwork from the time when he was a young soldier at the U.S. Army deployed in Africa. When we landed, it was in the country of Algeria, and we were going to set up our headquarters in a small village called Ain Temushent. As we walked into the town, I saw a, a building that had been bombed. And on the ground and on the floor were hundreds of these little funeral cards that had a black line around them. And I started gathering them up, and that's when I began to sketch. On these small funeral cards, almost 75 years ago, he drew with pencil scenes of war, of people fleeing with children in their arms. These images talk of pain and displacement much like the scenes of refugees crossing over to Europe. I was touched by seeing the refugees, like some of these now when we landed in France, where women with their children. Leo and Mary got married in 1949. They traveled extensively in the Middle East and Africa and amassed over 10,000 unique recordings of African music, which are now being digitized by the University of Michigan. In 2014, an exhibition inspired by the book Leo Sarkeesian's Faces of Africa featured portraits of the many people Leo met on the continent. Sarkeesian retired from VOA in 2012 at the age of 91. In January of 2014, Voice of America dedicated a studio used for broadcast to Africa in his name. He just turned 95, and art still remains a constant inspiration and practice in his life. Zoe Liudaki, Voice of America, Washington. Well, joining us now to tell us more about Leo Sarkeesian's life and legacy is VOA's current Music Time in Africa host, Heather Maxwell. Hello, Heather. Hi, Vincent. Yeah, must have been, it must have hit you uh, so hard to get the news that uh, Leo had bowed out. It did. I was totally surprised. Yeah. And everyone was because he, he seemed like he was just fine. Yes. And the last time I spoke to Leo Sarkeesian, it was in this studio, you were seated right there, and he was in the middle between us. <laughs> I remember us. that. Yeah. <laughs> and we talked about so many things, but how can you sum this up? What is Leo Sarkeesian's legacy? Leo brought African music to a wider audience way back and starting in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. um, he was one of the first to do that. So we have that. and. Those recordings that he did, starting from the 60s all the way up until the 80s, um, we still have those, and they're beautiful recordings of traditional music from many different, well, every African yeah, because country. Because it, it, didn't, it didn't sit in Washington and, and perhaps, you know, get some recorded music and transfer it to, to, to some real, but actually he went down yes. to these places, the villages, and sat down with uh, African musicians, right? That's right. And yeah. in his radio show, he always took great care to describe yeah. the context, the moment when he was recording, to name the names of the artists, to talk about specifics about that particular recording. 
And that is something that we still carry through in Music Time in Africa today. I try to do the same thing for the music that I play. And, and, and is it um, more because he didn't see this as a chore, like uh, it's a, something you're just doing to earn a living, but yeah. a, a passion, something he really loved doing? He loved it. Yeah. He loved it. He, you know, do you remember? He used to walk through the halls and he'd sing as he's walking and yeah. he would dance. Uh, he was full, like always brimming with yeah. music. He was full of life. And I I remember coming in sometimes to work and some years back when I would come uh, work late and leave like uh, two in the morning mm -hmm. and Leo would be coming to work <laughs> at two in the morning and they would stay until like five the That's next right. day, 5 p.m. That's how much he loved what he did. Yeah. But uh, how, how would you describe uh, the last few years of his life? I know you interacted quite a bit and you knew a bit more about what yeah. was happening in his life until he died. Well, he and Mary, his wife, moved up to Massachusetts to the town where they were born and raised. And, but Leo would call a lot. He would call back here and say, Heather, did you hear about uh, the artist from Kenya who's coming through? You've got to interview him. Yeah. I mean, he called me a number of times to tell me, keep doing what you're doing. I watch your program, man. I listen to you. So he really kept uh, he kind kept of in touch up. with all of us. Yes, he did. And then, and, 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 you know, so sad that, uh, uh, you know, his health was getting poor, but actually his wife's health was uh, even worse yes. than his. Now That's she's right. uh, pretty much uh, on her own. Yeah. So we, we, our hearts, you know, really our hearts go out, go to, out them. To, to them. Yeah. And in a few words, uh, is it possible to step into those shoes and fill them uh, completely and become <laughs> the next Leo Sarkisian? No. No. He'll st we'll keep his place, uh, you know, kind of uh, where it belongs. Yeah. We can only try to, to follow. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. So, we, you know, I really appreciate that uh, you've uh, come on to share My with pleasure. us this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this really sad moment. Yeah. Thank you very much. And. Um, that um, Heather Maxwell, a viewer's music time in Africa host, uh, The Voice of America offers its heartfelt condolences to Leo's dear wife, Mary, and other family members and friends.